Hello there everyone and welcome to a, another Thomas Wooden Railway custom video review. In this video I am taking a look at my custom Wooden Railway Ned the Steam Shovel. Now Ned is a character that was introduced in the sixth season of Thomas and Friends. He is a member of the Sodor Construction Company, also known as The Pack, and his first major appearance was in the episode A Friend in Need, where, uh, where Ned is shown digging up uh, some rocks and dumping them into Max's bucket, and he was also a major plot point uh, a little around the end of the episode, where he was going underneath a bridge, and he was told to lower his crane arm. But he didn't lower it down enough, and he accidentally knocked the keystones out of the bridge, causing it to collapse. And that resulted in Jack having to come in and try to hold up the bridge to keep Thomas from falling down. And as soon as Thomas was safe, Jack just had to get out from under the bridge and see it collapse. And I am betting that Ned felt pretty bad about causing the bridge to collapse like that, uh, since in future episodes he was shown to uh, feel uh, bad whenever he caused accidents, such as in the episode Jack Owns Up, where Ned was worried that he was going to run into some things, and then he ended up getting blamed for knocking over some roof tiles. Uh, which Jack actually knocked over. And Ned just did not like that he was being blamed for something that he didn't do and nobody was listening to him. And I know how that feels. But Jack managed to come in and admit it to his mistake because he really felt bad about Ned getting blamed for something that he had done. And he wanted to put things right and go and admit to uh, his mistake so that Ned would not be sent back to the yard for something that he did not do. And Ned is shown to be kind of a worrisome character uh, when it comes to his, uh, you know, his size and how he sometimes uh, acts so clumsy and, you know, breaking things by accident. Uh, such as how in the episode uh, Thomas's trusty friends, uh, Ned was looking forward to knocking a building down, but he was told that he was actually there for uh, scooping up the rubble, and Ned was very disappointed. But once he accidentally did knock the building over, the workmen were all happy because, you know, Oliver was assigned to knock the building down, but he wasn't able to do it. And Ned backed into the building and knocked it over. And everyone was happy that he did that, even though he was not assigned to knock the building down in the first place. Now, of course, we haven't seen Ned uh, any time recently in the TV series, even with the recent return of the pack. Well, not that recent. I mean, Jack has been... Uh, back since uh, King of the Railway, that came out in 2013, and, and Alfie, Max, Monty, and Oliver reappeared in uh, The Great Dis not The Great Discovery. Well, they did appear in The Great Discovery, but that wasn't their uh, return uh, in the CGI series. Their return in the CGI series was in Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure. But we have not seen Ned in CGI form at all. The closest that we have gotten would be Marion, the railway steam shovel. And Ned is a steam shovel that runs on, well, on road. He's a, you know, a, a non-rail vehicle. That is what he is. So, yeah, he just, he's just one of the pack members who has not appeared in the CGI series as of the 23rd season, although uh, we are going to see the pack appear again in the CGI series in season 23. And we are also going to be getting some new pack members, but we have not heard any news that any pack members that we have not seen in a long time are going to be making an appearance, but hopefully uh, they will be making an appearance soon.
Now to actually talk about how I came about making this custom right here. Well, for starters, um, this custom right here is made mostly from an old style wooden railway toby. I know that some people would think that it would work out better to maybe use um, Marion for creating a wooden railway Ned, but a couple of, a couple of problems with uh, that is that uh, Marion cannot rotate just like this while Ned can. Marion's steam shovel can rotate, but Marion herself cannot rotate just like that. And Ned was able to rotate just like that, so I wanted to make it so that he could still do that. Although, uh, there, there is a chance that uh, if they make a Thomas Wood Marion, which they have not announced that they will at the time of the recording of this video, but if they ever do, I'm guessing that probably would be the best uh, option for creating a Wooden Railway Ned from, and in fact it would be the right size for a custom wooden railway Ned, but we have not gotten any news that such a Thomas Wood model is going to be coming. At least nothing has been announced at the time of the recording of this video, but if it's already been announced or even already on the market, well, that didn't happen until after the recording of this video, so please do not say, oh, it's already happened, when from the time period that this video came from, it has not happened. So yeah, this is made from a Wooden Railway Toby, a 90's version, and what I did was saw off uh, the top, or the front part of, of the cab. I did leave a little bit on the bottom right there, where the uh, shovel arm connects to, and, you know, just, after I did that, uh, I also had to take the chassis off, and also remove the cow catchers, and there's a chance that you may see my cat come into uh, the video, don't mind her, and if you're wondering what she's up to, she just comes down here sometimes when I'm down here, just wonders what I'm doing, but she's actually on the other side of the room right now, so maybe you won't see her. But just in case you do, I just want to let you know the possibility that she could appear. So, getting back to Ned right here, the uh, the body, of course, the chassis right here, I had to remove the cow catchers on the side, and the thing here is that when it comes to the magnets, they actually had the magnets be attached on the outside of the cow catchers. It, it was kind of like, they put the cow catchers on, then they put the magnets on and connect them together. That is how it works. Right there. So I had to remove the cow catchers as well as remove the magnets and then glue the rear magnet back on because I want Ned to be able to connect to some things just like with a lot of the other roadway vehicles having the rear magnets so they can still attach to some things even though most of the road vehicles do not even uh, attach to any uh, sort of carts. At least Ned doesn't, but, you know, just for the sake of uh, the traditional wooden railway uh, road vehicles, I, I just added the magnet to the back. And then for uh, the arm right here, you might be wondering where the arm right comes from, the, the bucket. Well, the arm right here is taken from an old-style wooden railway butch. The, uh, the arm in question is the same as Butch's toe arm. I just managed to screw it out by just taking a screwdriver and just screwing the whole thing apart. I actually still have the rest of the said Butch model. He just does not have his toe arm anymore because it's right here now. And... Also, I put some model magic right here. It's a type of air drying clay, just in case you didn't know what that was. I just put it right there, glued it on to kind of create some sort of uh, smooth slope for the arm to attach to, because there was not enough room to get the arm to fit up on the top right here. At least not enough room to get the face on. 
And the bottom section actually uses some cardboard, which I glued and or uh, taped onto the body. And the bucket is also made out of Model Magic. Uh, the magnet actually still is intact, but I don't think that it will work very well now since it's being blocked off by the bucket. So it's not really... I'm guessing if this was a official model, uh, they'd probably put a magnet up here, just as they did with Marion, but this is a custom model. It's not an official product. It's it's just a custom that I made since they never made an official wooden railway net. And the uh, the writing on the side, I had Packard and Co. added on, as well as number 19 on his side, and also the little uh, lines on every side of Ned right here. And that's, that's taken from printing... Uh, the decal of Ned and just printing it down. I did have to do a couple of printing attempts because it either turned out to be too big or too small, so I just had to keep going until it was just right. And I also uh, took a silver Sharpies marker and had it be in a silver color, you know, since Ned's roof is silver. And as for how I managed to get the... Uh, the chassis to rotate. Uh, what I did was actually take a screwdriver and tried to screw it in. Although once I actually got the, uh, you know, just try to drill a hole to get the screwdriver in there. But you know, once I actually had it ready, I actually had the top of the screwdriver be inside of the cardboard. But it was just like impossible to get it to go on without using the screwdriver to screw it on. Because whenever I turned it, the screwdriver would also turn when I didn't want to. So my solution was just to pull it out and then screw it in properly and then just pop it back on. And that's how it works right there. I wanted to make this be a very uh, kid-friendly product. Uh, even, you know, just, just in case uh, just in case there's, uh, I may decide to have, uh, some kids play with this. Just wanted to make sure it was friendly and that there was no tip, uh, of the, uh, nail that they could, uh, poke their hand on. And, you know, I would, I would not want that to happen. And then the face right here, um, I originally was planning on going for a, uh, a face from the Thomas Wood Bolstrode. I was thinking of maybe getting a Thomas Wood Bolstrode and taking the face off of that. But when I looked at it closer, I was like, no, that's not going to work for Ned. That, that just was not going to work. So, the best option was to actually get a take-and-play Ned and take the face off of that, and it actually fits on really well onto this wooden railway body. And then I also took a red Sharpies marker and added in the lining all around uh, Ned, since he has red lining. Wasn't able to get the top part of his base in because there was just not enough room for that, but I did get a lot of the red uh, lining on Ned added onto there. And it also just so happens that I actually took the take and play Ned uh, that I got the face from, and made it into Mary Ann uh, from Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel right here. Uh, so this is this is the take and play Ned that I used uh, the face from. What I had to do was actually saw off the front part of the roof because you know I wanted to screw it off, you know, just uh, undo the whole thing and just take the face out. But it just was not going to work, because it did not have the same uh, screws, you know, the same screw connection point as a lot of the other more recently released uh, Take and Play or Adventures models. So I just had to saw off the top of the roof and then saw off the face right there. And then I just... I then just went ahead and spray painted this whole thing in uh, silver, though I did cover up the wheels, as I always do, but some paint actually got, you know, got in there. So I spray painted the whole thing, 
and then took a paintbrush and painted the entire cab in red, and then took a Sharpie's marker, and, you know, just did this part right here. This is basically where the driver goes, you know, the opening of the cab, since they... Since Marianne's design is basically, they just have her face be on the bucket, kind of making her look like a brontosaurus. Because basically, some people often imagine if a steam shovel had a face, it'd be on the bucket. And that actually makes good sense, but in the case of Thomas and Friends, they had the face go where you would think it would go. In, in Thomas the Tank Engine, it would go on the cap. So this would act more like an arm, not the neck and head. It's just an arm. And I also added on the face details using a white, uh, using white paint on a paintbrush, and then taking a black Sharpies marker to add the uh, eye pupil, the eyelids, and the mouth. Right there. So, you know, just, I just wanted to make something out of what was left of the take and play model that I used to get the face. So that is about it for my custom Wooden Railway Ned. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you are wondering if I will also do the same thing for uh, Buster, the chances are I may just do that, but that may be a long way away. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.